take off these glasses I am um, just about to do my um, nighttime skincare routine because I just took a shower yeah I've been in Lagos for the past four days now and I've just been trying to like settle in it's been really busy and I've been trying to settle in get situated and all and guys I have a lot to say about Lagos I haven't been here in it's been like five years since the last time I was in Nigeria. I haven't been here and <laughs> there is so much to say. I really need to stop looking like this whenever I come on my vlogs and I don't like to wear wigs. I don't even know where I should start from to be honest. No, I'm just gonna start by thanking God. My flight was smooth. When I got to Amsterdam, I was delayed I'm using the Snail Mucin Power Essence from COSRX. So my flight was delayed when I was at Amsterdam, Amsterdam twice. Twice it was delayed. The first time, I actually don't know what happened. I just know that they hardly have finished loading the plane. And the second time it was raining heavily like cats and dogs thunderstorms it was raining they said they weren't cleared the pilot was like they're not cleared for takeoff so we're just gonna like wait and that's how we like waited and things so i got to nigeria very late by the time i cleared with like immigration and dss and all of the things it was really 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 late i think i got to my host's place around like 11 or so because if you've traveled abroad and come to nigeria before and if you dealt with those guys at immigration you understand what i'm saying you will never live there on time some people just want to frustrate you the moment you get down from that plane eh, you start feeling the stress but yeah i thank god for everything um it's been okay so far i've just been very 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 jet lagged Lagos has changed so much in five years. Officially, I just want to say that Lagos is chaotic. Like, I'm not even kidding. Lagos is chaotic as fuck. There's living in Nigeria and then there's living in Lagos. Bro, you need to have an, like a very specific level of patience for you to live in Lagos. Lagos will stress you. Today, I had my first encounter with Nigerian police. <laughs> oh God, oh mercy. I almost lost my shit. I had my first encounter with Nigerian police. I was in an Uber. I'm gonna insert some clips. I couldn't really film because I was trying to be very discreet. Their head is not correct. They are not, they are not well. They are not all right, those police people. So I had my first encounter with the police for something so stupid very stupid i was in an uber i was supposed to go somewhere and i think the driver missed a turn and the driver so we got to like this roundabout and the driver missed a turn he was already at the roundabout before he realized that 
he missed a turn. What happens when you're in a roundabout and you feel like you don't know where you're going or you miss a turn? What do you do? You keep going round until you get to where you're supposed to turn, right? This is exactly what he was doing. And he was trying to turn around. There, there was like a police station uh, in one corner of the roundabout. And you know, he was turning and then they just appeared and jumped in front of the car from nowhere. I told him to stop you know, told him to turn off the car, told him to park, and they were already, next thing you know, they brought out their phones, started taking pictures of the car. So apparently, according to them, it's a crime to like turn at a roundabout where the police station is because the roundabout is one way. Like, tell me how that makes sense. That's just extremely stupid. If you're in a roundabout or a traffic circle, in Canada we call it a traffic circle. So if you are stuck or lost in a traffic circle, you keep turning in that traffic circle or roundabout until you figure out where you're supposed to turn because there's so many turns. And I do understand that traffic circles can be very confusing, especially if it's an area that you don't know and you're not very sure of where you're supposed to go or maybe like google map is confusing you or something just go round and round it took a lot of begging and pleading and they were almost gonna deflate this guy's tires and you know tow it to an impound lot where they were gonna auction the car at first we we're kind of like pleading and trying to explain to them and all basically they just want you to grovel and grovel like those people are just sent from the pit of hell next they were like we should pay 50k 50,000 naira <laughs> it took a lot of begging and bargaining and begging and eventually they brought it down said we should like pay 8k and that's how money just disappeared like that money that wasn't even budgeted for just disappeared right under my eyes before they let us go it's very annoying honestly i haven't been like vlogging so much because i'm just like i just can't deal you know i'm trying not to like overexert myself that's what's been happening a few days ago i went out with some of my family members we just had like a private dinner we went to cappadocia and i had fun i had fun on that day i haven't filmed since that day because i've been running around trying to get stuff in order and I was just like, okay, today I have to just sit down and just talk to you. I really hope that I get to make this vlog as interesting as possible. I'm quite happy to be back. I'm about to go watch Queen Charlotte. That's like season three of Bridgerton. Okay, guys, I will see you guys later. Hi, guys. So... I am preparing to go out or I'm just about ready to go out this evening to go have some drinks. I'm going to like this new place like that and I'm really hoping that they allow cameras because I've heard and seen from content creators in Nigeria that you know in, it's only in Nigeria they do things different so they like to you know tell you that you can't use a camera or you can use your phone all of that stuff that doesn't even make any sense so i'll take my camera with me and then i'll hope for the best Oof. there is no light at the moment um so ignore all the sound in the background but this is how we are looking for tonight this is what i'm wearing to go out i'm just wearing like jeans this is a bodysuit inside and this is white so i'm hoping this works i don't know if there is a dress code to go to that place i'm hoping not but we'll see and then scent of the day is this honestly i do not know how to pronounce this it's written in arabic as you can see but i really love this scent Second scent of the day, Bergamo, Signorina. All right. I have this black purse, so I'm like going really casual because I just 
I don't want to stress myself with wearing heels this evening, so... My mind there for you My heart beat for you Every time that I think of you I don't know I feel loved again I don't wanna wait for days Let me have you in my arms again Please When the world said I can't have I proved them wrong, I came for you Come on, you know I still come through uh -huh. Give me love, eh Forever, eh I did grace for your love My mind there for you Back all of my money and all my shoes I swear to God he go feed you I know deep down, say now you are choose I got no doubt for you Hi guys, good afternoon. So we are currently at the Lekki Conservation Center. This is Lekki Conservation Center that's behind me or rather in front of me here. This was like a last minute decision. It was like I went to the bank early this morning and I was done with the bank as early earlier than I expected. So I had nothing else to do and I was like before going home, let me just come and visit this place, this Lekki Conservation Center last minute before I head back to Canada. So I'm here last minute. I have someone with me who's going to help me with cameras and angles and you know, hopefully this person does a good job. <laughs> Let's just head into the conservation center now and then I'll show you guys what is inside. For my non-Nigerian friends on YouTube, I'm gonna give you a brief history and a brief context of the place. The Lekki Conservation Center is a 190-acre natural resource conservation in Lekki, Lagos State, Nigeria. The center was established in 1990 to serve as a biodiversity conservation icon and environment education center. It was built by Chevron Corporation and it's a sanctuary for the rich flora and fauna of the Lekki Peninsula. So this place is mainly swamp and savanna and marsh and i was told that the way that this place is is exactly how it was before development and globalization came into the lekki peninsula so it was all swamp it was all marsh before development and globalization came in and they started you know constructing different buildings and roads and all of those things in the lucky area when we got into the conservation center we had to first register and get our id bands and then we had to wait for a tour guide that was going to take us up to the canopy walk area one thing that really stuck out to me was the fact that plastics are not allowed plastics are frowned upon in this area because plastic is known to be a pollutant that releases toxins into the natural environment and it actually contributes to global warming and they're trying to conserve this natural environment so that's why plastics are frowned against and also you have to be very careful with your food because we have monkeys and some other creatures around that are gonna you know want to eat your food or want to snatch your food here our tour guide basically wanted to educate us about the place and things we should do things we should not do just before we start the hiking trail he also warned us about crocodiles we should be wary of crocodiles i was actually very surprised because i didn't know there were crocodiles here basically we have to be careful with food or with gadgets if your phone fell into the swamp you cannot get it back because the crocodiles will have it <laughs> If 
According to resource material from Wikipedia, the Lekki Conservation Center features a diverse range of endangered species. Efforts have been made to save different types of animals, reptiles and birds from extinction. Some of the endangered species are crocodiles, monkeys, squirrels, snakes, monitor lizards, giant rats and hogs. And while the tree hosts mona monkeys and other species of monkeys, the open grasslands are home to bush bugs, maxwells, dweakers, giant rats, hogs, mongooses, chameleons, squirrels and an impressive variety of bird life. We eventually got to the canopy walk area. The Lekki Conservation Center canopy walk is the longest canopy walk in Africa. It measures 1,315 feet long. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. It takes a total of 45 minutes to embark on this canopy walk. And from the highest point on the canopy walk, you can actually see the entire skyline of the Atlantic Ocean, which is the area labeled on the video. On our way down from the canopy walk, we found this tree house where other tourists were exploring and climbing to the top. And I must confess, I was a little bit nervous at first because I wasn't sure of the stability of the ladder but I was happy that I eventually braved up and climbed up to the top because that seemed to be the only place where there was a lot of air circulating around, meaning there was fresh breeze. We're at the top of the tree house. It was a little bit scary. I am so hot and sweaty. I came to the top thinking that I was going to be able to catch some breeze, but like I'm so hot, but um, we came to see the tree house. There are some ants here. Yeah. Anyway guys, we're gonna be heading back down shortly. I believe that is the highest point of the canopy walk. Yeah. I'm standing from the tree house, I can yeah. see it. That's the highest point. And there are some people who are just making their way through to the canopy walk. This is the way to the tree house and the way out of the tree house. So, the tree house is just, it's very small. We'll start climbing down very soon. Lekki Conservation Center itself is very hot. It feels like the air is stagnant, it's humid. But when you get to the top of the tree house, there is a lot of wind that blows in your face and cools you down. After the treehouse adventure, we decided to start heading home in order to beat the Lagos traffic. And that's it for this vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this Lagos vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you never miss an upload coming from me. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Stay safe. Bye.